Hey guys, Mr. Bonanzi here. We're going to be doing one of our summer school science projects here in this video. Uh, it should go fairly easy. You don't need a whole lot of things. And if you're in my summer school class, I went ahead and provide you with everything that you'll need. So, uh, as you can see, I've got this Propel bottle, which I promptly drank upon having. But you do need an empty bottle. Uh, second, you're going to need soil, water, a couple of pieces of string, scissors, and of course your seeds, because what we're going to be making is a, a sub-irrigated planter that can operate on its own with just stuff that you have at home. So we'll just get started. So first off, like I said, what you're going to need is that bottle. And now this is going to be probably the hardest part of this whole thing. Um, it needs to be empty. I just washed it out. Um, what we're going to do is cut it in half. This is an oddly shaped bottle, so what I'm going to do is actually cut it below the lo the label here so that I kind of have it flare out and I'll show you how else we're gonna work on that here in a second. I took the lid off so that the air would be able to come out so I can squeeze it while I cut it. So carefully, carefully cut the bottom like so, just so that you can get it started. Put the scissors in and go right along the bottom of the label and as you f get it completed it should pop right off like so now notice how this is serrated here so if you want to take your scissors and clean it up a little bit you can like so you just want to make sure that that is safe enough for you to be able to touch now what we also need to do is we need to take our bottle here, the top part, and we need to put some holes along the top, the bottle top, not in here. So you can go ahead and safely put your cap back on because that'll contain the soil once we have it like this. And what we will do is we'll take the scissors like so and carefully cut it so that you have a small hole like so might be a little hard to see but that's important that you can at least get a hole started so that we can stick our string through it before too long we'll make a, a few of them we'll say four or two okay It's important that you make these holes relatively small, smaller than in, like your pinky fingernail so that um, we don't have all of the soil go out of it. We don't want that to happen at all because this is going to be our soil reservoir, which we'll need to keep fairly well intact so that all of the soil doesn't go into the water. All right, perfect. Now, Take your string and your new holes that you have here, um, and we're going to carefully, again, this might be kind of sharp, so be careful, carefully put it through so that it can kind of dangle through on its own. You're gonna to wanna to leave some inside the cup so that the reservoir for water will be able to get through the string. I'm putting it on each side here. There we go, like so. And see, I've got a good amount of string on the inside. Perfect. Now, we have what will eventually be this sort of device like that when we're done. But you can see it fits pretty well. The important thing is that we have enough water in our water reservoir to be able to feed into our cup, all right? So what I will do now is I will take the water from here. I'm going to carefully pour it into here. We'll start with that and see how that goes. We want to make sure the cap isn't too well submerged into it um, so that it doesn't push up on the cap. So we might have to put some out. Let's go ahead and check it out. That looks pretty good. 
as you can see, the cap is just barely touching the water, um, which is good. We want that water to be able to fully encapsulate the string so that eventually the water will carry through the yarn up into here into our seed uh, container, our incubator for the seed. So now, this will be a little more difficult. We need to take some of our soil that we have and put it into the top. It's all right if you get some on the table. Like such. Good, so it should be pretty well full. At the top, I went right to what was level. And I got some on me too. And then I will take my seeds. And these are Sweet Pea, Sweet Dream Mix colors from Burpee. Which should be the ones that if you're in my summer school class, you have. I'm just gonna take a few. I think I gave everybody between four and 10 or so. I'm going to put them right into the top, like so. I'm going to push them down into the soil. Mix it up a little bit so that they get nice and buried. Okay. I'll take a little bit more soil so that it's nice and packed. And we should have a nice little seed starter, just like that. So make sure it gets some sun. And when you need to, just take the top off like that and fill the water back up as it starts to drain. So, perfect. All the stuff we had at home. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope that this project goes really well for you. And uh, I'll look forward to our next science project. Thanks, guys.